questions there in your mind. Um, this is about early time, as early as 2700 BC, 2700 BC, people in the far Middle East and Western Europe were looking for natural causes as the source of disease. 2700 BC. Um, shortly after 3000 BC, the Egyptians began making important medical progress. In 800 BC, Indian surgeons successfully performed many kinds of operations, including amputations and plastic surgery. In 400 BC, the Greek physician Hippocrates began showing that disease has only natural causes. But in the 1800s and later, the Celtic people were still in paradise. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's a, there, there's another claim. I don't know what kind of story is. I'm dangerous now. Maybe I'll just tell you that I find it interesting this plague that they had in the, in the sky, in the sky or whatever. And this was quite recent, but I, I'm sure it was, it was uh, pretty sure it was the 1900s. I wanted to double check that, but I know it was quite recent. They had a, a plague, an infection in the, in the building of the carriage. So in order to rid themselves of the infection, uh, everybody in the parish had to put their fire out, any fire they had in their houses. They had to put them out to the fire extinguishing. And then they, had, they picked uh, 80 married men. That sounds interesting, 80 married men. And uh, these 80 married men were two, they, they got two, two plants. And Nine of these married men would take turns rubbing these two plants together and until the, the plants went on fire. Then when the plants went on fire, people of the parish got their fire from these plants and brought them back to their homes and, and boiled some water in a pot on, on the new fire from the plants. And then it's, uh, water that was in these uh, containers. They take it, each family, each household, and take this water and sprinkle it over to everybody in the house and all the animals in the burns and fields, whatever. And each family did that. And that was how they supposedly got rid of the plague in the village. So anyway, uh, that's a pretty well wrapped up the uh, my side of, of the folk medicine, but I'm sure you people probably have a lot of stuff. Things to tell about folk medicine from your experience. Well, that's all for now, anyway, for me.
things that I'm someone who's telling me about boiling bird off. Bird off bitters. They used to have bitters. Bird off bitters? Yeah, bird off bitters. They had boils. Oh, that is.
supposedly uh, contributed perhaps more than any other person still living to uh, the field of moral philosophy. And uh, he's going to be the subject of next week's lecture. And uh, Dr. Peter Kortaski from the University of PEI uh, will, uh, will be here to talk about him. Dr. Kortaski is just back from sabbatical. Spent a year down in Notre Dame, and I guess his office was, if not quite next door to Alistair McIntosh, but we were very close anyway. Uh, anyhow, we invite you uh, back next week uh, to hear Dr. Peter Cortez on that subject. Um, again, if you would, if you're not on our mailing list already, if you'd sign your name and address uh, before you go home this evening. That would be appreciated. And again, take up some of the handouts with you. And if there's anything else I want to say, I've completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to wait for another time. Thank you for coming. Have a couple of